The snow began heavy and wet, just as predicted, socking in a city known for snow panic. But warnings about this blizzard are especially dire. We uh, see this as a, a major storm. Uh, it has uh, life and death implications, and all the residents of the District of Columbia should uh, treat it that way. The subway will be shut down all weekend. Government offices are closed. Basketball and hockey games canceled. For two days, grocery stores have been emptied of essentials, inspiring the mocking hashtag weather wimps and confusing this tourist from Montreal. So this wasn't scaring us, but everybody around us is scaring us. Everything's closing. I've never seen that in Montreal. But while mocking may be fun, this storm is big, even by Canadian standards. It's already pounding Tennessee, Kentucky and West Virginia. In North Carolina, weather-related car crashes killed at least four people. The D.C. area is expected to get the worst of it. Winds up to 80 kilometers an hour. That's enough to down power lines and up to 60 centimeters of snow. That's roughly the same amount of snow that crippled Victoria in 1996 and more than this Ottawa blizzard in 2007. Little wonder airlines are canceling flights, more than 6,000 across the U.S. I think that it could be, you know, disastrous for a lot of people trying to get out of town. And New York City is bracing too. The city of New York is fully prepared. All of the agencies present here are doing a tremendous job in their preparations. They are very experienced. Some of that experience comes from last year, when similarly apocalyptic predictions were made for a New York storm that didn't hit with anywhere near the predicted punch. Officials then said, better safe than sorry, and D.C. is taking the same approach.